Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at applying halftone effects into our illustration work. And we're going to be using the True Grit Texture Supply Debaser Toolkit. And this is available from the True Grit Texture Supply website. It does cost some money, but it's well worth it. We're going to look at Debaser this time around, and we'll look at some halftone brushes in the next video. So let's take a look and see how this works. So I've got an illustration here that is inked. The inks are on its own layer. And what I'm planning on doing here is just making selections using either the magic wand tool or the lasso tool. And I will then apply the halftone effects and you can see how this will work. So we'll start off by just using the magic wand tool. We'll select the background here. So I'll just click. You wanna make sure that anti-alias, contiguous and sample all layers are on in order for you to be able to select pieces of an illustration. If I hold down the shift key, shift will add to my selection. So I've got the entire background now selected. So when you install the debaser toolkit, um, you will be given a set of halftone patterns and these patterns will exist in your patterns uh, folder. And I'm not gonna talk about how do you install this because that's covered on their instructions on their website. But suffice to say, you're going to get, you know, quite a range of halftone effects. Now, these halftone effects mimic what you would normally see in old comics or old printed newspapers. Those are those little dots that you would probably see if you um, look at those illustrations really closely. And I like that aesthetic personally. So we'll start off by picking one of these patterns and we'll click on it. And you can see that just by clicking on that pattern, it fills in the area. Let's take a look and see what it did. So we'll notice that we can see this uh, pattern swatch here. If I want to change that, I can just double click it and I can choose a different color. And when I'm applying this effect to the selection, it creates a mask. Now the white area is where the painting will occur. So in other words, you can see that the blue pattern um, is uh, filled in in the areas that are white on the mask. Black is the parts that are not visible. That's something to remember for later on. Okay, so my strategy here is to use these half tones in this particular manner if I make a brand new layer and I need to, if I wanna apply another half tone pattern. Let's go ahead and color um, our vampire. And this is like all the lit parts right here. So we can go back to our half tone effects. I'll pick a, a, a kind of a green color here, click on that. Now it's important that I create a brand new layer because if I were to try to apply the same halftone pattern to the existing layer, then it won't work. So you wanna make a new layer and then apply your halftone effect. And again, you can always double click and you can change the color as you want to. Now, what's really neat about this is with this mask, if I want to come in and I want to add this green Half tone to say other parts of this character. I can use my brush tool. I can make sure that I'm selecting the mask and I want to make sure that I'm using white, pure white. And then what I can do is I can come back in and I can reveal that half tone in other areas of my illustration. And so for example, these highlights right here, I can come back and quote unquote paint by painting on the mask itself. So it's pretty cool to do that. You don't even need to have an outline. Sometimes you can just come back in. You can do something like this if you want to, to kind of have a non-outline look. That kind of looks neat. Uh, and then you can mix and match as well. For example, if I wanted to reveal some of that blue, go back to the blue halftone layer and just start painting. So that's a quick and simple way to um, create halftone effects using the debaser system. Uh, one other thing that I want to show you, uh, if you've made it to this video thus far, um, the debaser toolkit will also include a series of actions. And these actions allow you to control the fidelity of your inks. If you want to have your inks look more like, uh, you know, ha you know, having some kind of like errors or some kind of a weird kind of um, printed effect, you know, when you look at old comics, they're not printed perfectly. There's just a little bit of a, 
uh, variation in the inks. They just look more distressed. I guess that's the word I'm looking for here. So if I select my ink layer and go back to my actions, and these are all included as part of the Debaser toolkit, and I'm not getting sponsored by True Grit Texture Supply. So just to be totally fair, I'm a paying customer. I've purchased these uh, plugins and toolkits um, from the company itself. I can just choose, for example, ink distressing detail, medium. <clears throat> and if I click on that, it's gonna take a few moments here. You can see that it's kind of pinwheeling. And what it does is it pulls up this pattern fill and I don't want the leaf pattern. I'll just go ahead and pick, say, a dark halftone pattern. And you can see right away what that does is it gives it a, it's not a pure black, it gives it kind of a dark um, printed effect. It's almost adding half tones to my inks. I guess that's the way, the way I would go ahead and say it. Um, and here's the before. So what it does is it non-destructively adds these elements in. I can always turn this off and turn on the visibility of my inks layer which is really cool. It doesn't actually tamper with what you've created, so you can always go back to it, but it does give you the added flexibility of having uh, you know, halftone effects for your inks. So if you found this video to be valuable, I definitely would appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't already considered subscribing, please subscribe, but let's try to get to at least a thousand subscribers. Uh, that's my goal for this coming next few months. Um, and uh, just so we can share this content with even more artists so that you can level up your digital art game. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.